when we started uh, our more formal atrial fibrillation program, we did several things. One, we uh, started an atrial fibrillation clinic. Uh, two, we instituted data tracking in terms of uh, the procedures that were done, uh, the uh, outcomes, both in terms of complications and successes, uh, along a variety of other uh, metrics. And so when we talk about measuring success, really we measure it in several ways. Uh, and each of the ways that we measure has something to do with the stakeholders that are involved. Uh, first and foremost, we want to provide really the best possible procedure for a patient, uh, efficacious uh, and uh, efficacious results with very low complications. Uh, in the second place, we want to achieve uh, good throughput uh, for the hospital, uh, meaning increased uh, volumes to justify our investment in uh, all of this uh, advanced technology, in EP in general and in atrial fibrillation ablation uh, in particular, and also uh, for the physicians to become more experienced with doing so, uh, doing the procedures, uh, feeling comfortable uh, with the procedures, and in the sort of the largest possible sense, uh, and maybe in the best possible sense, uh, increasing overall uh, revenues at our hospital system. And that's where <clears throat> uh, atrial fibrillation ablation, particularly with the cryobloom technology, has been uh, very helpful for us. We have been very pleased with it on several levels. One, it has uh, allowed us to achieve greater consistency uh, for patients in terms of the procedure, but also there is less uh, interoperator, um, sorry, interoperator variability with regards to the procedure itself. Uh, it has improved throughput dramatically. Other clinical aspects of the procedure have allowed us to offer this technology to patients um, in greater quantities than we did before. So therefore, we've seen the volume of our atrial fibrillation program grow uh, dramatically over the last uh, 12 to 18 months. Our procedure times across the board, uh, compared to RF ablation, uh, are significantly lower. And uh, in addition to that, the case-to-case -case variability is much more consistent. So in all the cases, not only that I've done, but in the case times that we've tracked with our other physicians, uh, we've seen that the variability has become much smaller, uh, which is a big benefit to our lab and throughput. Uh, but since the cases are more consistent, it's helpful for the staff as well because we go through the same steps uh, every time. And so there is more consistency with how each physician does an arctic front advance case compared to how the physicians were doing uh, radio frequency uh, atrial fibrillation ablation previously. What I think the uh, referring doctors have seen is that we're doing this in greater numbers, so the visibility of the procedure is far greater than it was with uh, radio frequency ablation. As a result of seeing it being done more and seeing the good results we're getting and the lower complication rates that we're having, uh, I think that has uh, allowed the referring cardiologist to more aggressively uh, send us uh, these patients than they used to do before. When we were first starting this program, uh, I had to go in front of our hospital systems value analysis committee and had to essentially justify to them uh, the benefits that I thought would accrue to the system as well as our patients uh, specifically with having uh, uh, cryotechnology and in particular arctic front advance. And frankly, it was a pretty easy case to make. Uh, and the, the benefits that I touted at that time were that uh, we're going to be able to offer this technology to more patients than we were doing previously, that we're going to get better results than we had before, and that uh, we're going to have fewer complications than we had before with probably greater throughput. And in point of fact, every one of these metrics has uh, been proven uh, to be true, uh, and not just based on my you know, personal or anecdotal view of it, but with how we're tracking these things. In fact, uh, uh, they have been thrilled with uh, how the program itself has gone uh, from the administrative standpoint, and we have certainly been uh, very happy with how things have gone from a clinical standpoint as well.